Welcome back to On Point from the Somerdale Church of Christ. We are studying through the Proverbs in the month of August, and we find ourselves in chapter 21, and I want to read with you verse 2. It says, Every way of man is right in his own eyes, but the Lord weighs the heart. One of the things that David pursued was the heart of God. David, many times over, it said, not only is he uh, one who is talking about how God loves the contrite heart, loves the heart that is pure and tender and so forth, but it's referred to him by God and by others in the New Testament even too, that he was a man after God's own heart. He sought the will and the heart of God. He's also very repentant. When David is confronted with sin, most of the times he immediately gets on his knees and apologizes to God for what he's done and tries to in some way make it right. And that's very important as we see this, that God knows our heart. He knows ultimately what we're thinking and what we're feeling before the action comes out. Other people around us may only see the action, but God knows the heart. So I want to say two things. First of all, it's impossible to judge someone else or to be able to look into someone else's heart. You can hear their words, you can see their actions, but only God knows the heart of one. So before you overreact and somebody does something to you, or uh, before you think that they're wonderful and perfect, you know, use some, use some wisdom and discretion. But God only knows that. He's the only one that knows the heart of an individual. The second thing to keep in mind is that when we're judged on Judgment Day, it's not just our actions, but it's also what we're thinking. That's why Jesus says many times over, you know, you heard it said of old, but now I say to you, you know, I, I, the one that specifically comes to my mind is where he says, you know, you've heard, don't commit adultery. And I'm telling you, don't even think in your, don't think in your heart. Don't even allow those thoughts, those negative thoughts, those evil, evil thoughts to come into your heart. Don't do that. Focus your heart on God. And the fact the Lord even says, you know, you need to love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. Heart is heavily emphasized. So you know what you've done. You know where you've been. You know the things that have happened with your own hands, with your own mouth. But remember, there are evil thoughts. So let's fill our thoughts with good, positive things today. Fill your mind with scripture today, and maybe some great things will come out of it. Because ultimately, on the day of judgment, the Lord wants to know that you had a pure heart. Let him rule there in your heart. I hope you have a great day today. Thanks for tuning in to On Point. He is Lord, he is Lord.